everybody, welcome to Shift Heads. I want to start this video off with a little bit of a disclaimer. Today's content is going to include something that's a little bit out of the norm for Shift Heads. Um, we don't really like to do how-to videos, but I was scouring the internet trying to figure out how to take the intake off of this engine, and all that came up was EcoBoost, 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 EcoBoost. I could not find anything that showed you how to take off the upper intake plenum on a naturally aspirated 3.5. So if you're watching this video simply because of that, then welcome, thank you very much. We're gonna get into it real quick. Okay, so this is a 2017 model, naturally aspirated 3.5 as you can see down there and down there, there are no turbos on this engine. Now, like I said, I scoured the internet looking for how to take, up, take off this upper intake plenum because I wanted to make sure that there was nothing that was going to surprise me and unfortunately i couldn't find anything so the the simple fact of the matter is is before you do anything disconnect the battery take the negative cable off you don't want to short out any of these circuits in case they're live power or whatnot and you could have a bad day after that but i ended up taking off the intake boot here these are seven millimeter bolts one there and one there okay and you can move this air intake hose out of the way this coolant hose right here you don't need to take this off you can just pull this out of the way and it won't be bothering you as much there's this connector back here that i couldn't quite figure out how to take off and i didn't want to break it so i just left it on and it just goes to this little t fitting here and to the uh the vacuum for the power booster okay and i left that one on too but if you come over you follow this hose you come to here you can see it's got a rubber hose with two little clamps on it. I recommend you take it off from this clamp because this one right here, it's got a huge barb on this plastic piece. And if you tug on this plastic too hard, you could break this and that could cause a vacuum leak, which could give you a check engine light. And it's just not a fun day. Now, this hose right here goes to the PCB on this side of the engine. It's real simple. All you gotta do is this little clip down here, pull it towards the hose, towards this way, then push down and out like that and it comes right off and to put it back on click it into place this hose right here is the same as that one the clips down underneath here you can't really see it but let's see if i can get my finger on it you take it push it and pull and it comes right off okay this hose right here I don't know exactly what it's for. It goes to this sensor here. You can undo this by pulling these two tabs out, pull the hose out, and it'll be out of your way. This clip right here, there are two little tabs on the bottom, on the other side where my fingers are. You can squeeze those two tabs together and this piece will pop up Then you can pull that out. And I'll show you real quick those tabs. Okay, you see these two tabs right here, squeeze those together, this whole unit pops up. Now, when you go to put this together, do not push this down and then try and push it onto the piece there. Leave it up like that and then you can push it on and then you push that piece down, it's in there. This sensor right here, okay? This little tab that my fingernail's sitting on, you push that down, push it in just a little bit and it'll pull right out, okay? This little guy back here, there's this white tab. You have to pull that back towards the front of the truck. Then you can squeeze the end down right where my thumb's at. And it should push in a little bit, squeeze it down and it comes right off. Okay. This and oh, this set of wires back here for this are zip tied to the back of the intake. You can go ahead and cut that zip tie and it'll be out of your way. There's this harness back here. All you gotta do you can just pull it out and move it back and that'll get you out of the way. Don't worry about this right here. This is a fuel line. This will not be in your way. You do not need to take this off, all right? Now, once you have all of those hoses off, you can start undoing the bolts. I recommend starting up here. You can loosen this one. These are eight millimeter. Loosen this one and then take this one out and this bracket will swing out of the way. These two bolts right here, do not worry about these two bolts. Leave them in. They do not hold the intake down. Then there's this bolt here, this bolt here. 
that bolt there, that bolt there, this bolt there, that bolt there, and then there's one hiding back here. And those are all eight millimeter bolts as well. And then you'll be able to take the intake out. Once you've got the intake off, cover the intake ports with a rag or stuff some towels down in there or something, just so you can keep stuff from falling in there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you can take that intake off. And putting it back together is just a reverse process. Don't forget to put this little guy back in because once you take this off and throw it around, he kind of falls down to the back of the engine bay and he's kind of hard to get out. But I hope you found that informative and that should conclude the educational portion of this video. Now to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so as it turns out, this little harness is attached back here for this sensor by a zip tie. So we can just cut that real quick and we can pull that whole thing out. And I figured out how to get this clip off. Uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, can we keep anything from falling in that intake that we don't want to. We can just cover that up with rags. And then you have access to your spark plugs and then putting everything back together is just the reverse process of what I just showed you. I'm too short for this. I can't, I can't. I'm on my freaking tippy toes and I can't, can't get to that sucker. Here we go. Got a little bit of a stool. The one I'm gonna pull out right now, it's back here. And uh, I'm expecting it to actually look pretty good because when I bought the truck, the check engine light was on and it came back with misfire. So they changed that spark plug. They also said they were gonna change the coil, but I don't think that happened. No big deal. It's been fine since. It hasn't really been misfiring. It's just had a little bit of a, a little bit of a skip during idle. So <sighs> let's see how it looks. Yeah, see that one, the camera will focus. Yeah, this one doesn't look too bad. It says Ford on it. We got a Motorcraft Platinum plug to throw back into this thing. So this is the problem with working with gloves. I can't figure out what I'm doing and I can't get the... There we go. I was saying I couldn't get the bag open. Made a liar out of myself. And yes, don't worry, there's, there's three more. Three, three, not four, three. Three more. With the NICs and contrary to popular belief, you don't have to coat all of the threads <laughs> to get the NICs on there. Just a tip. So we got it all back together with the spark plugs and the coils put back on. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out this gasket on the intake plenum because, well, why not? And I'm gonna change the gasket on the throttle body and clean the throttle body. And what really sucks is I had to order this entire kit of gaskets just for those two right there. One and two. That's it. All right, got it all back together. Got the new spark plugs in. Everything's running fancy, nice and fine. It's still got a little bit of a rough spot and idle, but I'm not too worried about it. So that's gonna wrap up that portion. That actually got done pretty quick, but now she needs a bath. She dirty. Let's go get that done. So yeah, I'm gonna try this wash because it's owned by the guy that owns the company I work for and uh, I forgot to take my antenna off so hopefully it doesn't rip it off. Shit. Ooh, pretty colors. Really worried about my antenna. All right, antenna's still there, thank God. This part blows. All right, now we can take her for a rip on the interstate. Kind of dry her off real quick. And we should be good. It, it knocked that mirror out. Now I can't, shit. 
Now, I don't know if this is just a placebo effect, but she feels a lot more responsive. I wasn't even flooring it there. It was like a quarter of a bow. Anyway, folks, I think that's gonna have to do it for, what the hell was that? As I was saying, that's gonna have to do it for today. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Oops. Oh, that's what that was. I forgot I had that back there.